Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Ezekiel here, and I'm going to be showing you guys this Bluetooth keyboard I just got uh, on the mail. And uh, so let's get started. All right, so it is an iPhone 5 that I am holding right here, and I am currently recording this video with an iPhone 4S. All right, so let's get started here. Let's put this to the side for now. Let's open up the keyboard, buddy. I'm inside the keyboard case. It's going to be the it's gonna be the uh, the keyboard and a micro USB charger to charge the keyboard because you do need to charge the keyboard and the manual on how to use it. But it's pretty simple. I'll show you guys everything right now within a few minutes. All right, so I took it out. It's really really light compared to the other ones that I've used before. I only got this one for twenty four dollars. Other other places like boxwave.com have them for $84 and the it is exactly the same and this one is white boxwave does not offer that so this is better and the pricing as well again I only, I only got it for $25 alright so let's get this bad boy started alright so let's go ahead and turn on the keyboard and turn it on and this little button right here the one on top of here, the it looks like a Wi-Fi symbol up there. You guys see it right there. That is pairing mode. So I'll go ahead and press it. It is now in pairing mode. Right there. As you guys can see the blue light. It's in pairing mode, meaning BT Bluetooth. And my iPhone 5 found it. I click on it. And in order for me to connect to it, I need to enter the code. I will not always get this code as long as I disconnect and connect from the Bluetooth to another Bluetooth, it will be all it will always be different. So I want to connect it right. Okay, I took forever, and it should be another different code this time around. Let's turn off the time. Oh, there it goes. Twenty one forty three to one four three. Enter, and it is connected. And most of the times when you enter the notes app and you click on the plus sign, it it would it would tell you to um it would prompt you to the virtual keyboard. The virtual keyboard would sometimes pop up well most of the times pop up on its own. But since the iPhone recognizes that it has a keyboard paired with it, it won't. And you guys notice that how the lighting is dark. It, it's like that for for a reason to show you guys this. If I want to make it, if I want the the keyboard to light up, I click on F N, and this the left arrow key. So let's go ahead and do that. F N, left arrow key, and then the keyboard lights up. And if I don't do it, and if it's inactive for ten seconds, it will turn off. I'm gonna let it pass by. All right, ten seconds. And if I click on it again, it'll turn back on. And it's really easy to use. Really, really easy to use. And um, if I wanted to make the brightness brighter, all I would do is hold either that function key or this function key and click on the down arrow, I mean, sorry, the, the right arrow key. So I'll hold the function button, right arrow key, and I'm making it brighter. If I'm gonna get lower, I hold the down arrow key, down arrow key, and it makes it uh, the brightness lower without you having to go to the settings app so you could stay on the on the app that you're in. Like if you were texting or anything like that. Um, if you want to get out of the app without you having to reach up here, you could just click on this button right here, and it is the home button. And this lock button, it locks the phone. And if I want to unlock it, I either press the home button or the lock button like how you usually would without the keyboard button, keyboard case. So let's click the home button and slide it to unlock. And the keyboard does not pop up. Uh, my password is capital D. It's capital shift D. 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 
and I hit enter and it unlocks my iPhone and let me just show you guys uh, the prices um, that I got so if I go to boxwave.com which is where I got the first um, uh, keyboard case for it if you guys have seen my other video that I uploaded about a year ago I paid eighty four dollars and ninety nine cents for it and this time around for the iPhone 5 guess what this one is still eighty nine dollars and ninety five cents however if I go to where cases in a box dot com and then I'm gonna let it refresh it is twenty four dollars and ninety six cents and I could choose either black case or the white case and they are both very 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 long lasting very durable um cases the standby time I believe is five hundred hours on the keyboard so you don't always need to uh charge it all right so um I think that's basically all of the uh all I have to say about the keyboard case um I will have links down below to where I got them from. And also, if you want your iPhone unlock, iPhone 4, 4S, or 5, either being AT&T, um, I have a link down below to how you guys can get unlocked really cheap. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Uh, my name is Ezekiel, and I'll see you guys on the next one.